Hi everybody, I'm back from Adelaide. Thanks a lot for watching my vlog again. And today I thought that's exactly what I'd talk about. I thought I'd talk about my trip to Adelaide. So without any further ado, let's get to it. My trip to Adelaide. So Adelaide is the capital of South Australia. It is here. And uh, we're basically going down there because dad was born and raised in Adelaide. So all of dad's family is down there. So we'll go down to visit them. But on top of that, it's my parents' 20th wedding anniversary this year. So that was their nice romantic getaway. And while they were away for those three days in the Barossa Valley, which is a mountainside full of wine, I, um, I'm pretty sure. Uh, me and my brother, Josh, we stayed with our, with our uncle. Uh, after mum and dad left, the first thing me and Josh did was hit up the arcade, because that's what you do when your parents give you money to spend, for, uh, to spend on uh, stuff. Uh, so we hit up the arcade and a few pro tips, don't spend uh, any of your money on any licensed games and by that I mean like games that are made about movies like we played the Terminator Salvation game which was a big mistake, two dollars for two minutes of shooting basically nothing, it wasn't even two minutes, it was probably like a minute and a half of shooting nothing is not good value for money but I'll tell you what is good value for money Buck Hunter Pro. If you're ever wondering what game to play when you go to like an arcade or whatever, just head straight for Buck Hunter because it's, it's, it's awesome. I just found out that there's actually a Buck Hunter Pro app. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get that now. It's Big Buck Hunter Pro, and it's only 99 cents. That is, for, for un, like unlimited plays. It's like five bucks for. Like a three trip pack thing at the arcade. So that is value for money. Download that. Password. Doctor Who. I'll tell you how that goes at the end of the vlog um, after that's done downloading. Uh, we had a good time on the first day. We also saw Cowboys and Aliens. It was, it was all right. It wasn't, it wasn't amazing. I did expect more. Uh, what I did take away is Daniel Craig can play it a complete badass if that wasn't evident from James Bond and two that Harrison Ford could probably have been played by a growling dog I'm not sure so um later that week me and Josh we actually went into the city and did all the touristy kind of stuff that you do when you go um go to another city and uh we, we had a bit of troubles first off going into the city on public transport we went down to Oakland station the, th the thing is that the ticket machine only accepted change and I only had a $20 note, so we were pretty stuffed for that. Uh, Josh was freaking out. We got to the train station though at Adelaide and it was all sweet. I was like, look, we're noobs. Uh, we are strangers in a strange land. Please help us. And they, it, was, it was fine. Uh, the first thing that we did when we got out of the train station was like, well, we don't really know Adelaide, so what can we do? We'll just, we'll just walk in like this direct, this general direction here and just see where that leads us. That was a bad idea. Well, it, it wasn't as bad as it probably could have been. Uh, we headed straight for, the first street that we went on was Hindley Street, which is like, uh, which is the equivalent of like, the dodgy end of Fortitude Valley in Brisbane. Uh, we walked past several gentlemen's clubs and dodgy looking people. That was my first experience of Adelaide, which was, which was a blast. So um, Dad actually rang us up while we were on Hindley Street and he said, where are you? And we were like, dunno, but we've just walked past like a brothel, a strip club and a couple of bars. And he was like, well, you're probably on Hindley Street then. And I'm like, yeah, but you know all about Hindley Street, don't you, Dad? Uh, Dad told, we, Dad headed us off in the right direction. He said either go down to the river or Google Maps. Uh, Rundle Mall, so we did. Rundle Mall's like Queen Street, so we went down there, had a look around, got some uh, delicious local cuisine, and then we headed down to the river, and the first thing that you'll notice about that part of Adelaide is that it's just bloody lovely. Just everything you see is just, just beautiful down that end of the city. I'll show you some of these pictures and some of this video that I took, because it's, it's, just, it's just amazing. I saw um, a bird that reminded me of a film that I saw, and I also saw um, some ducklings, which made me go, ah, and that, that was nice. And so that was good. And then we walked up to the Adelaide Zoo, saw that it was $35 to get in and turned around and went away. I think just because they have pandas, they can charge any amount. I paid $35 if there were unicorns. 
I think. Unicorns or dinosaurs? If, there was, if they had those two, then I might be persuaded in paying $35. I mean, pandas are, pandas are good, but not $35 good, I'm sorry. But the amazing thing about Adelaide is that all of the buildings uh, in the city, they all look so old. And I'll ask Dad later if Adelaide was older than Brisbane because it just looks so just antique, I think is a, a good word of describing it. And the fact is that it isn't. It's about the same age as Brisbane. It's about uh, 150 years old or whatever. But a lot of the buildings in Adelaide are made out of uh, stone rather than wood, which is what a lot of the things in Queensland are made out of. And because a lot of the buildings in Queensland are made out of wood, they deteriorate a lot quicker. And, um, and therefore it doesn't look as old and they just resurrect new glass and steel buildings instead. Um, but a beautiful wooden building that we did see in Adelaide was this creepy little sweet shop which uh, kind of reminded me of something out of like Dr. Parnassus or Willy Wonka. It was just a really creepy book, but good fudge. Good fudge, I will give them that. And so Josh uh, got Gears of War 3 the next day, which kept him uh, preoccupied for the rest of the trip while I wrote a love song for you. It goes a little something like this. <laughs> I try too hard. I try too hard. And so on uh, the last day, uh, that was pretty reminiscent of what we didn't do, but uh, we had a barbecue, uh, which was absolutely great because we got to meet up with all of the family again. Uh, when you get a bunch of us together, uh, and you get a drum kit and some guitars, and you get Josh and Steven together, you get something like this. <laughs> Anyway, that's all I really wanted to talk about today. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you later. Bye. Hold on, hold on. Look, it's downloaded. Buck Hunter. Yeah. That beat is so funky. Ugh. Let's go West Virginia. West Virginia. West Virginia. Okay. All right, let's do it. Let's kill some buck. Let's bang headshot. Oh. Yeah! Yeah, double buck! Alright, yeah! You're the new hunter hero! Yeah! I'm the new hunter hero! Alright, now I really will. See you later. Bye!